Hey y'all, coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Deuces Wild and Joker's Wild car shows in Atlantic City, and I came across a 1970 VW Bug I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. How cool is that, right? I dig these bugs when they take the fenders off of them, put them on the ground, set them low, and then add that crazy cool airbrush paint to it. Bright orange, gray, those two colors I think work really well together, and I was sold. I got pictures of this sent to me on Facebook, and man, I was glad to see it at the Deuces Wild Car Show in Atlantic City. It may have been the first time the car had been out, I'm not sure about that, how long it had been done, but it's a 1970 VW Beetle, as we said, it's called a Volksrod. Old George owns it out of uh, New Jersey. The orange is a House of Color Sunset Orange and a Spies Heckler Clear. Sits on air, 17 inch wheels all the way around. 205 40s on the front and 235 55s on the rear. Wheels are obviously a personal choice. I think the wheels that they chose work really well with this build and good, good, you know, look good on this bug. The paint is just awesome. The pinstriping. I love the roof and that work up there. I just thought the thing was cool all the way around. And big lights on it. It's had a four and inch shop, shaved handles, the doors have been shaved, the pillars, deleted the windows, deleted the stretch out of the front end, obviously custom airbrush, custom pinstriping, 1932 Ford taillights, and 1930 Packard headlights. I wondered what those were out of. Very cool. Over dramatic, right? Kind of bug-eyed on a bug, and I dig it. I like the spider webbing there. I think that's cool. That's metal. It looks like it's some kind of rope or, you know, elastic material, but it's metal work. Like I said, I really dig the pinstriping on it. Making that torn look work with the pinstriping, and then you have almost a, what I would, you know, associate with a lowrider type pattern on the roof. Oh, very cool. Got a tap handle for a gear shift. That's always a good idea. TMI interior. That's aftermarket, but some stuff you can do yourself. The whole car is home built. George is very proud of that, and he should be. I could never build anything this nice. There's a lot of cool stuff at the Deuces Wild Car Show in Atlantic City. If you're in the area, make sure you get out to that every year. It's been going on for 47 years now. They have a car auction. They've got a couple of car shows. they got a car corral. All kinds of stuff. A great way to spend the weekend. Again, 32 Ford taillights. It's even got a trailer hitch on it, so... I'm guessing that it can tow a trailer. Nice and clean up underneath. I like the, I like the uh, again, I like that pinstriping. I like what they did on the engine with that too. Brought it inside. I really dig that roof though. I love the color of it. It's just very cool. The whole car I thought was really cool. It's one of the ones that make you smile. You know, I see so many half million and million dollar cars and, you know, 70s muscle cars and I love all that stuff and, you know, that's great, but every now and then, you know, even if you love Flame and Yon, every now and then you like to have pizza and cheeseburger and just, you know, basic cool stuff. Something somebody created in their garage, worked on with their own hands and, and made their dream come true. I'd love to cruise around in it. I think it'd be fun. Nice summer day up there in Atlantic City. I knew y'all would want to see it. Give you a little more information on it in case I missed something.
So there you go from the 2020 Deuces Wild Car Show in Atlantic City, a 1970 VW Bug Volksrod. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.